The cops knocked on my door and informed me that I fathered a daughter 15 years ago that I never knew about. Her mom is in jail for life and I have no idea what to do. Hey everyone, when I, 32M, was a teenager I dated a girl, K. One day K broke up with me out of the blue with no explanation. Fast forward 15-ish years later. The police showed up at my apartment. Long story short, Kay was pregnant with my kid 15 years ago. She got charged with a bunch of drug charges and when they asked if her daughter could go to any family, she said I was the dad. Well, after a paternity test, I do have a 15-year-old daughter with Kay. So my daughter is going to come live with me today. I'm not a dad. I don't have kids or a significant other. Just dogs. So I'm pretty clueless when it comes to being a dad or taking care of a kid, especially one who's a teenager. After talking with her social worker, she says she's K was neglectful to my daughter and isn't going to be used to being taken care of or having structure, which will be a big adjustment for her. The social worker says I need to be patient with her and just show her love and support even if she doesn't want it. I have a room all ready for her in my apartment. It is pretty basic because I didn't want to overwhelm her. So yeah, she's coming today just hoping for some support, maybe some tips. Update a few days later. I-32 posted on Friday that my daughter, 15, was coming to live with me, who I had no idea about until her mother went to jail on a bunch of drug charges. It has been a big adjustment for both my daughter and myself. I told her when I first picked her up that I know this is very new for both of us. So I know it's going to take some time to adjust. She has been through a lot from what I can tell. She's very underweight and not used to constantly having meals. I put a snack bin in her room so she hopefully doesn't feel the need to hide food, at least stuff that isn't supposed to be left out. I told her she could get food from the kitchen whenever she wanted, but that seemed to overwhelm her, so it's now a snack bin. I also have breakfast and dinner, lunch on weekends at a consistent time so she just knows a meal is going to happen. She also has nightmares and screams, of course. She hasn't told me what they're about. I don't expect her to yet, but whatever it was, it was traumatic for her. So I'm in the process of finding a therapist for her. For some more positive things, I got her to open up enough to find out some things about her. Firstly, she loves my dogs. We took them on a walk together. She's smart, loves to read, and she likes to play basketball. I of course told her some stuff about me. She's pretty quiet and reserved. I expected her to not be really open with me considering I am a stranger to her. But things so far aren't too bad going relatively well. Update 2. So probably a lot of you guys seen the post about me, M32, recently finding out about my 15-year-old daughter and getting custody of her. Well, things have been going pretty good so far. Today she was sitting in the kitchen doing homework, and once she finished, she started playing with my dogs, but left a few papers out after putting the rest away. I asked what those are. She said, oh, just some tests I had this week. I asked if I could see them. She said sure she had gotten A's on three tests, chemistry, history, and geometry after being at the school for less than two weeks. I was honestly very impressed, not because I don't think she's not smart, but because she just started at a new school and is having big life adjustment. I told her that was amazing and ended up going on about how at her age, I didn't care about the school aspect of school, just cared about sports and my friends. She said I enjoy learning and reading. It helps me get away from life. Then it hit me. It was her way of escaping from the assumingly not good life with her mom and focus her mind on something else like learning and reading. It honestly makes me really sad to think about. Update 3. I am 32 have been posting on here kind of a lot recently. Basically, I recently not only found out, but also got custody of my 15-year-old daughter. Even though I don't know a lot, just based on speculation, her mom wasn't a good mother and the poor girl has been through a lot. Earlier we were out to eat because I didn't feel like cooking and I found out my daughter never had tacos. So we went out for tacos and we were having a very casual conversation until a mother with her two young daughters, I would say both girls under 10 came in. You could just tell the girls were having fun with their mom and all three just clearly loved each other. Well, my daughter got quiet and kept staring at them. I didn't want to pry, so I kept quiet. She didn't say anything until randomly on the drive home. She said, Sometimes it's hard seeing girls have a good relationship with their mom. I get jealous because my mom and I never did. Then she started crying and let me know she wanted to be left alone the rest of the night. It was hard seeing her cry and upset. 
It is also difficult to know, even though I'm now around in my daughter's life and I'm trying to be a good parent. She still spent the first 15 years of her life not having a good relationship with her mom and I can't fix that. I wish I could, but I can't, which sucks because she didn't deserve to be neglected and possibly abused. I'm just in my feelings and really sad for my daughter. Update 4 I am 32 have shared here about my getting full custody of my daughter, 15, who I did not know about. It has been a little over two months. She gives me a hard time honestly. I haven't yelled at her or anything like that. I understand she's been through it. We're both in therapy to help. Well, this whole week she has been really rude and arguing with me. It has been very rough. During one of the arguments, she ended up telling me some very personal stuff I'm not going to share but I will say she had a very rough start to life. I was trying my best to comfort her. She seemed like she was having a panic attack. We were just sitting in silence and she said, you know, you're pretty good at the whole dad thing for being a newbie. I laughed and said thank you and told her being her dad had been enjoyable. It was silent for a while, but then she said thanks dad. That made my whole year, to be honest, been having a bit of happy tears. Update 5, I am 32, have shared quite a few posts on here about finding out I had a teen daughter with an ex of mine. My daughter was also neglected and both physically and mentally abused by her mother. After drug charges, she came to live with me. Things have been going well. She even once referred called me dad. We still have tough days. But therapy has helped her a lot and I'm even in therapy now to help with this big life adjustment. A little over a month ago, my daughter started feeling fatigued was losing weight. That sadly took a while for her to gain and was pale and just seemed unwell. I was worried and started taking her to the doctors. They were convinced it was just a bad cold that was going around, but it lasted way longer than any cold should. So I took her to other doctors. One recently decided to run some tests. I honestly didn't know what would be wrong with her. At certain points, I figured I was a new dad and just over worrying about my daughter. Today we found out she has leukemia. This poor girl has had such a tough life already and now this. I am pissed. I am upset. I am terrified. I've had family members go through chemo. So I know it's no easy task and that'll mentally be hard on both of us. Extremely physically hard on my poor girl. She hasn't said much since we found out earlier this morning. I would just like you guys to send good vibes, messages, and possibly advice if you have any. Update 6. I have shared a lot here about my daughter, F-15. I didn't know about her until the police came to my door wondering if I could take her in. Her mother, my ex, was neglectful, mentally and sometimes physically abusive towards my daughter. I was just working on building a relationship with her and we were starting to get close. A little. Over a month ago she got diagnosed with cancer, leukemia specifically. Life has not been fair at all to this poor girl. She has been doing inpatient chemo for almost a month now. That's been rough. She's either quiet or verbally attacking me and taking her anger out on me. I haven't said much about that. I understand she's angry. I mean, she's only 15, a sophomore in high school, and has been through so much. She's been doing virtual therapy sessions with her therapist and talking to people at the hospital as well. She's coming home in a few days. She will, hopefully, he'll be able to relax in her bed. She gets to see my dogs, which she loves dearly. It's been mentally draining for both of us, mostly her, I know. She lost most of the weight she was able to gain living with me. She was extremely underweight when she came to live with me. Even with anti-nausea meds, she just doesn't have an appetite right now. Chemo has made reading harder and she refuses to listen to audiobooks. So she's grumpy about not reading since it's something that has always brought her comfort. And it's just clear she's upset and frustrated, which is understandable and why I let her kind of get upset with me. But I do let her know that what she says hurts me. But I know she's a teenager who has been hurt her whole life and now going through something extremely difficult. Update 7. Hi everyone, this is with permission from her. I'm posting a picture of my daughter coming home from a month of inpatient chemo. I'm the one who posts on here a lot about how I got my daughter, who I didn't know about. My last post was about dealing with her new cancer diagnosis. She was super happy to be home, be able to lay, sleep in her own bed, see our dogs. I have been reading to her we started the Divergent book series, which is actually really good. I've never read them before. Since being home, 
She has been in a better mood compared to being in the hospital, but chemo cancer has been still so mentally difficult on her. It's also been hard on me, not in the same way, of course, but just because I love her and hate seeing her go through this, especially after everything she's been through. She also tends to take her frustration out on me verbally, which is okay. I know this is hard on her. She's only 15 and has been through a lot. Anyway, just wanted to give a bit of an update on everything. Date 8. Hi everyone, it's been a while. I have shared many posts about my 15-year-old daughter, who I didn't know existed until 8 months ago. It has been challenging, especially with her getting diagnosed with cancer, leukemia. Well, she has been so strong during this fight against leukemia. I am beyond proud of her. She is such a strong young lady who has gone through so much throughout her life. Well, tomorrow starts a whole new chapter for my daughter. She's getting a stem cell transplant. It won't be easy, but if it goes good, this is going to do her so much good, and my daughter will finally be able to live the life she deserves. So today, she is getting spoiled by me and my whole family, because for a while things are going to be really difficult for her. So please send good vibes and thoughts our way. And I also want to thank everyone for all the love and support we have gotten on here. There has been no update since, so we must send our best wishes for OP.